What's going on guys? Marcus Zari here and we're at Tronscan.org. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys how to officially create a Tron wallet just for Tron. So we're going to do this by going to this where it says open wallet by clicking on that. Then we're going to go ahead and create on wallet. And then we're going to get this, this screen where it says new wallet. Um, this password encrypts your private key. This does not act as a seed to generate your keys. You will need to, this password in your private key to unlock your wallet. So let me go ahead and create a password for this. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Download encrypted key. It says do not lose it. Tron Foundation cannot help you recover a lost key. Do not share it. Your funds may be stolen if you use this file as a malicious site. Make a backup just in case your laptop is set on fire, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit never. So I got it here. Download it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Um, save your private key. So I'm going to go ahead and save, save my private key because I'm going to need it. Go ahead and save it there. So now I have that saved. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And voila, your new wallet is ready. Go to your account page. Okay, so this is my new address. This is my account. This is what it looks like when you create your wallet. It's pretty um, straightforward, right? All we did was create a password and it provided me with my uh, private key and so I can log into my account next time right so this is my address that has been granted to me it says right here do not send TRX from your own wallet or exchange to the above account address of testnet so um, I cannot send my um, TRX from the exchange to this wallet right because this is a testnet address so my funds pretty much my funds will be lost so this is Tron Power. So this is kind of the, the outlook of it. So you have the mat bandwidth. Um, then you have the Tron Power. Then you have your TRX balance, right? Let me go ahead and click on set name. So you may only set your account name once. So I can name this account however I want to name it. Exit out of this. And then this is my tokens. So I don't have any tokens. Um, this is my transfers or my transactions. Uh, with my account, either me, um, you know, selling my TRX uh, or transferring my TRX from one account to another account and vice versa. Then this is Tron Power. So TRX can be fro frozen slash locked to gain Tron Power, enable additional features. For example, with Tron Power, you can vote for super representatives. Fro frozen tokens are locked for a period of three days. During this period, the frozen TRX cannot be traded. After this period, you can unfreeze the TRX and trade the token. So that's pretty cool. Um, just another uh, benefit for why you should own Tron, own Tron so you can um, gain additional features for um, we're interfering with uh, Tron's blockchain. So I definitely know for a fact down the line, it's going to be more things you can do with your Tron power than just voting for um, super representatives, which is something you can do only for right now. Then it goes into details about what a super representative is. Um, you go ahead and read about that. And then this down here, you have the test net. So when requesting TRX, you will receive about 10,000 TRX, which you can use for testing on a test net. You may only request TRX 10 times per account. So it looks like you can't really do anything as far as right now until the whole test net is, is done with, which it should be done now because the main net, which has been launched officially. So like I said, I will look more into this to make sure everything is good to go to, to see if I can transfer some of my TRX into this address without me losing it. So, uh, with so last thing before I go, I just want to show you guys, you guys probably had questions like, okay, so how does this process work with me logging back into my wallet, right? So I'm going to go ahead and um, sign out of my wallet. And then I'm going to go ahead and 
pretty much go back to the front page and redo the steps right by clicking the open wallet button here I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my private key so I'm gonna go ahead and copy my private key that I have here go ahead and copy this long string which is my private key and go ahead and sign in with it by clicking sign in and I should be I should be in my account I should be in my wallet so I am in my wallet so just like that I'm back into my account as you guys can see here so that's how you do um, that's how you log out of your wallet and log back in so just be safe of your private key just make it safe so you will you will not lose it because if you lose it you're not going to have access to none of your TRX and that just money down the drain so have a great one guys